ecological disaster. Oil spill, coast of Tobago. My name is Vanessa Jeffrey and this is the Workers' Rights Platform. We are broadcasting live from the Workers' Rights Studio. Now, a tragic situation has been taking place off the coast of Tobago. Apparently, nobody don't want to take responsibility for uh, oil. Oil uh, entered into the ecosystem from an overturned overturn vessel and damaging miles of coastline. And all government and people could say, I don't have voluntary effort. Take a look at the, the damage. We would have reported this situation before. Now we would have get a backdrop of as to everything that is taking place within that area. So we could bring that to you so you could be able to see as to what is taking place within your country. And we here at the Workers' Rights Platform is saying to you, the general public, to the world, a more better approach in dealing with this matter should have taken in effect. This is a country for years have been dealing with oil and gas. And what you are telling me is that you, are you not prepared to deal with situation of this magnitude? Again, my name is Renison Jeffrey. This is the Workers' Rights Platform. We are going to play a lot of videos from the social media platforms that have been stretched throughout Trinidad. Different views and opinion from people because we always tell you, there is the platform. I might be saying something, but it's echoes from your voice, from your sentiment, from your concern. So we are going to play, we reinventing the wheel to explain a situation that was already explained by the various people that would have seen that Trinidad and Tobago is not just a place for their likeness alone, but the future, future generation to come. And they would have taken effort out of the fact as to investigate the story even some more than the government with this response here this broadcast here we are hoping that you know the government the, the authorities look into this matter now gary abud would have talked about something and i feel that you must the public must pay more attention to concerning these type of restriction and international deals as to where oil is concerned and where economy, where economy is concerned because Guyana went through the same process right about now with Exxon Oil and a citizen from there would have been explaining every day relentlessly now that is what we are attempting here on this platform so expect a different change a different spin on some of these things that you are seeing within the public domain my name is Renison Jeffrey this is the Workers Rights Platform like share and subscribe stay tuned we are going to play videos that we have collected and information that we believe that we can compile it together and we believe you need to hear this thanks for watching and do subscribe to our channel And I'm just showing you that video that the oil is still running. And this is what it looks like in the back of Cano Bay to the TNT plan. So this is what it's looking like now. It is really bad in the back here. Right? So just showing you there. Look at it here, look. Look. See? So it's really, really bad here. So you can imagine all the crab and pacro. And also the fishes, right? It's going to be really bad here. It's really, really bad.
a mysterious vessel overturn around the coast of Tobago on February 7, causing unimaginable damage to the reef coastline and the entire island. If you're new here, my name is Fleur. I am Cuban. I live in Jamaica and I am a lover of the ocean. Everything that I have to do with water, even if it's a muddy puddle, I care about it. Words cannot just describe the magnitude of the devastation that an event such as this caused to marine life and also to human life. We depend on the ocean for everything, even for breathing. Now, the reason why I say mysterious vessel is because I already in my head have so many theories about what went on here. And I'm going to share with you, allegedly, this is just, just my brain, but I just really wanted to make this video to bring more awareness to the situation and hopefully all the countries around the region can send assistance for the cleanup because that's the main priority now. And please, if you are wondering why there's so few people there, remember what happened in the United States many, many years ago? It is so toxic. It is really dangerous for humans as it is for animal life, wildlife. It is very toxic to be around. That's why you see the people with the suits and you see them suit up and taking all the precautions. And the divers are being very cautious about everything because it is very extremely toxic to be around the oil once it's spilled. As always, I invite you to do your own research. A lot of people on TikTok were saying that nobody was talking about this, and yes, no news station can spread news as fast as TikTok, fortunately for us. But as you can see here, a lot of the news have already picked up the story. However, the information that they have surrounding the incident is very, very, very limited. I always take it a step forward. Google is my best friend. And of course, once they share the name of the vessel, I went up and just did a little search for it. And this is what I found. This is the name of the vessel, Gulf Stream. Now, me no I say, these are the vessel that torn over by Tobago, you know, but this is a vessel with the same name. As you can see here, balticshipping.com. That is the name of the website that I stumbled upon. And you have all the information there. And it's said to be having the flag of St. Kitts and Nevis. You can see that it was a general cargo vessel, so this vessel was not carrying oil per se. So allegedly, let us just assume that the oil that is being spilled is the fuel that was powering the vessel to move forward. It was said to be carrying lumber and sand. The whole thing very mysterious is that this ship basically sank in the shore right there so it had issues and nobody know her nothing about it nobody made a phone call to say hello we are think what are you thinking about nothing like that ever happened a fisherman just happened to see the oil and then they investigated and saw the whole thing happening look at this now let's not forget that trinidad and tobago depend heavily on oil for everything they have them people them over by trinidad and tobago have holy power oil and just last year they had a huge oil spill sometimes when you are do something illegal you can't really call out like i will never forget one of my neighbors had his house broken into and in cuba lobster it's illegal and the thief thief the lobster out of him fresh well it used to be illegal so he couldn't call the police if say thief come in a yard and come thief the lobster because him does supposed to have lobster in a him fresh to begin with so what if them can't find no documentation for this ship because it was in the ocean illegally something happened to the ship the man them run left the ship behind and them can't really call because them don't supposed to be in other waters to begin with and they will be in trouble allegedly tobago is a beautiful i never had the honor to be in tobago but i have been to trinidad several times and i wish i could have gone to tobago but i have heard from people that have been there that is incredibly beautiful and they have carnival just around the corner they have them hotels they have the airbnbs they have the guest houses everything and me i wonder if i have something to do with make we mash them up and make sure they don't make no money so the tourists them come over here so instead Call me crazy, call Bellevue, pan me if you want. But all of this is just devastating. Words cannot describe the pain me feeling in my heart when me see the ocean like that. Me get goosebump to back foot 
because I love the ocean so much and we humankind already give the ocean so much stress. We are damaged it so much. The last time we jump in the water, the water, the coral, them in Jamaica bleach out and dead. The sea urchin, them are dead by the hundreds of thousands because of the weather, because of the temperature changing as a result of the oil burning tin. What, what, when humankind is going to get into them thick skull, the renewable energy is the way to go. The oil has caused too much trouble. The oil, oil has destroyed everything from land and sea. We need electric vehicles. We need a solar panel. We need renewable energy. We need wind. We need water. We need all everything that we can and stay away from the crude black sitting there that come from under the ground. That is just my humble opinion, my alleged theories, and just my heart goes out to the Tobagians or my god i cannot imagine what uno i go through i wish i could be there to put my two hands in a one suit and go help you clean out and bathe the birds them and bathe the fish if me have to bathe the fish them because me cannot imagine waking what morning and me step out of port more there so elcha and the water just black can you imagine? So me I beg one of my brothers and sisters in Jamaica to share this video or any other information that Uno find about the Tobago oil spill because we have to bring awareness, investigation have to be carried out and help have to go to Tobago right, 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 right now because too much kumu kumu, too much. The effects of the oil spill reported in Tobago on Wednesday had spread to several beaches on the island, intensifying the Tobago Emergency Management Agency's cleanup efforts. Speaking to the media on Thursday, the THA Chief Secretary called the occurrence a disaster that Tobago was not prepared for. The oil spill has been elevated to a Tier 2 disaster and may soon move to Tier 3. This according to THA officials and the Tobago Emergency Management Agency. Tier 3 level means that it's at that juncture we will have to get the requisite international partners to assist. That means it will go beyond uh, just the national scope given some of the things that we are seeing at the moment and can't readily disclose uh, right now. The Chief Secretary noted the sargassum seaweed is acting as an absorbent of the oil-like substance and is being stored at a sealed containment in Stanley Park. Mr. Gustine also informed that the vessel's lodging has been causing damage to Tobago's reef. We have seen the ship essentially create a, a, a pathway um, through the reef uh, where the ship dragged itself, um, where the currents dragged the ship uh, through the reefs. So we're seeing that clear pathway. We are seeing where the ship is grinding on the, on the coral reef and, and destroying parts of the coral reef where it is currently lodged. Coast Guard divers were prepared to dive on Thursday. However, it was deemed unsafe as a result of the location of the ship's lodging. According to Tima, it has been identified as Gulf Stream, but its origin is still unknown. Chief Secretary Augustine said plans are underway for the vessel's removal. Maritime is from out of the Ministry of, of Works, I believe, um, to assist us um, um, with the, the, the big ticket item and that is the removal of the vessel from where it is currently lodged. It is not our desire to have the vessel uh, there um, much longer because we don't want it to be lodged in a way that it's difficult to be moved afterwards and we will now have to cut it up to remove it. While some fisher folk are calling for compensation, Mr. Gusty noted that THA is prioritizing the cleanup efforts. He explained it is anticipated that this will continue well into the carnival weekend. Carissa Douglas, TTT News. A team from the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries has been dispatched to Tobago to provide assistance in managing the oil spill should the Tobago Emergency Management Agency and the Tobago House of Assembly so desire. The Energy Ministry held an emergency response meeting with key agencies, including the Coast Guard, the Institute of Marine Affairs, the Environmental Management Authority, the Maritime Services Division, Ministry of Works and Transport, and TIMA. 
During the meeting, Tima indicated that the Tobago oil spill contingency plan was immediately triggered and Tima will be leading and managing the response. Are you ready to elevate your driving experience? The Nigel and Cam's Auto and where your dream car awaits you. Good afternoon folks, my name is Sheldon Khan and this afternoon I'd like to introduce, us, introduce you all <laughs> to our Nissan Caravan MV350 2017 model. For finance option, we're offering this vehicle at $16,000, down, $1,900 a month. Yes folks, if, there's, if you want to do that grocery work, you know that kind of thing, or you want to carry the family on a weekend, all that kind of thing is very optional. It's a Nissan vehicle, so again, parts readily available. You know Nissan, I love Nissan, right? As I, as I said again, the finance option on the vehicle is $16,900 down for six years. Everybody in Trinidad loves this vehicle right now. Everybody in Trinidad likes Nissan, but you know that, right? This vehicle is selling really, really fast. And for, if you want further information as to how to get one, the details, please call us at 785-3882 and I will be happy and very willing to assist you. And from me and Canon Nigel Autos, let me wish you all the very best for the new year. Again, my number is 785-3882. That's 785-3882.